We're in today with the most beautiful Fermi video card ever made, the GTX 560 Ti from Galaxy. It's got 384 shaders, 1 gig of VRAM GGDR5 Hynix running at 900 megahertz on the core clock, 1050 megahertz on the memory clock, 256 bits bus width, and today we're gonna pair it up with this i7-6950X with 10 cores and 20 threads. Very interesting video card, but the best thing we can do for it is just jump in a couple of games and see how it holds. Let's go. I'm just curious how loud is this video card? Can I hear it in the microphone? 100% fan speed. Let's hear it. No, oh, it's a bit loud, seriously. I'm actually surprised it's doing this, but the temperature is good. Very efficient fan. How about in the main? I barely hear it in the main microphone. I'm gonna keep it like this. 100% fan speed for a Fermi video card, <laughs> please. Let's try and see how it's running with uh, this video card Battlefield 4 with maximum details uh, on uh, 1080p. <laughs> Ultra details with this and I got 30 FPS. All right, let's do a reset here. 30, 40 FPS. Ooh. I think it's gonna hold here. Very nice. I don't know what I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I have to go back there and try to recover my manhood because it was put down. Seriously. 28 FPS, 27 on minimal. Oh man. This is not okay. How much I got? 42 FPS on average when I'm sitting down. Look at that. The average around 38 FPS. This is very important for me because most of the time you will end up with uh, different type of quality, resolution, and having 38 FPS with ultra, it's a lot, seriously. This is very important number for the video card. I got nice temperature, 64 degrees, with one gig of VRAM allocated and 700 process. So it does the job, but you have to change the resolution or the quality. If I put it on low details, does it give me a nice FPS? Seriously, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just curious with low quality, does it work better? 70 FPS. Oh yes, please, look at that. Let's do a reset. Look at that. Not gonna lie, the performance now is good with low quality. Maybe it's gonna be totally different with 720p or something. I think there is a standing chance to be higher quality with that resolution. It's not bad to see this video card running with all the instances, you know, to see how it's performing with all kinds of resolution and qualities. 720p with ultra details. 90 FPS with ultra, with 720p. See, the resolution is not bad, you know. I, I think I have to do the overlay a little smaller and it will be okay. Having maximum quality with this is kind of good. Temperature is the same, maximum core load. So I'll take this as a big win because it, it does a such a fantastic job here. So low quality is, is not even in discussion here. Seriously. I, I really want this video card to win in this game. I don't know, it's a big open world game and uh, on 1080p with low quality, with the lowest quality, I barely got like 70 FPS. <laughs> Look at this. If I go on maximum, I tried it and I got like 10 FPS. So I, I would just keep that because it doesn't do it. You know, 800 megabytes of VRAM allocated with uh, this GPU and actually see it's struggling to do the job so i'll take this as a big opportunity but at, at the same time i want to see if i can actually play the game seriously with low quality 900 is still holding on the right temperature but where is the, the most uh, saddest part influential thing this game can do for this video card is 70 degrees to the 70 degrees on this video card until now everything was good the voltage is one straight one volt on the video card 100 fan speed and on the system side i got like 12 15 percent load on the cpu side 10.8 gig of system ram with 11 uh, virtual memory not a bad performance from this definitely love to see this uh, video card run in multiple games and uh, how it's performing i think i have to put in the description maybe the other test that i have managed to done with this but until now with 1080p as a preset with low quality and actually see is doing okay -ish, theoretically 69 fps with uh, 24 on minimal and and 24 on uh, one percent into a reset here maybe it's gonna average differently i don't know maybe a little oh man this is good
Oh shoot, thing else. Oh no, the FPS went down. Wow, 22 FPS. What do I, what do I do here with low quality so much that is dropping the FPS so much? Wow. Wow, where was he? Look at that. If we're jumping in Fortnite with this video card on 720p with low quality, I'm gonna see that I have a small chance here if I can put it like this with uh, borderless on 720p. That's the only way I can get playable FPS with a Fermi video card like this. 950 megabytes of VRAM allocated and 600 processed. So the average is getting good in this case. 66 degrees, it's uh, not that bad because it's uh, helping me here with uh, the video card not to get hot. One volt it's uh, on point here 11.6 gig of system ram quality with low details it's not that bad i got nearly the same uh, virtual memory on, on this case and uh, yeah it's working seriously it's it's a working uh, video card in this case with this uh, game and uh, can say nothing bad this is uh, apex legends seriously i remember playing apex legends with uh, the with similar things all right i'm not gonna say no to this because it's actually playable still averaging really nice i think in the fight is gonna be totally different we we'll to see there even after uh, playing a little you can still see it's hovering around 80 fps i had to disable uh, v-sync it's got a limitation in the menu and i actually forgot i started playing and i was like why is my fps so low seriously i'm actually surprised the game is running with the video card seriously on 720p it's holding with playable fps 88 fps let's try world of tanks with this video card this baby needs to run perfectly here with us i got here low quality and we're gonna jump in a couple of uh, details here and see which one is good low medium high and um, i don't think maximum i can go but i like this number uh, 1002 megabytes of vram allocated with this video card <laughs> you know I i'll take it i'll take this as a big w for this uh, game because usually i will play it like this you know with hundreds of fps and limited fps and now i'm getting distressed it. so i got uh, on lowest quality nice fps here i can actually get uh, uh, nice averages 160 fps on average is good with this minimal is good 110 but one percent it's uh, everywhere 680 megabytes processed with 71 degrees this is bad because i got 100 percent fan speed i need good ambient in order to get this video card cooled so in this case with the system itself yeah it's getting warmer in the room because of this computer you know so 10.5 gig of system ram is okay with 10.9 virtual memory not bad from this computer i think the only way i can do this uh, the right way is by uh, playing the game with uh, v-sync in order to distress it i got uh, 170 fps on average yes now if i put v-sync with low quality let's go on there so instead now i got 270 watts consumption is the near look at this 63 degrees with this you know 800 megabytes of vram allocated and 500 process it does a fantastic job in this case with this uh, computer i will call this a big win in uh, on the video card side but idea would be to go higher in the quality in order to see how it's holding on medium quality i got 80 fps on average even like this it's actually impressive to see the video card running with 340 watts i mean 340 watts per general on the computer i i think this it's good you know it's good to see this computer running like this 80 90 fps on average is not bad 997 megabytes of vram allocated and 700 process it's holding okay the video card but at the same time i want some decent performance from this on the other hand in team fortress with this video card on 1080p with maximum details everything is put on analyzing everything maxed out as max as possible exactly how this video card needs to run hundreds of fps i want to play a little more you can see how much it's gonna average here 900 uh, actually it's one gig of vram allocated and 600 process it's a very interesting performance the video card is offering but at the same time i want to be 
okay with a video card that doesn't have any problems. An awesome performance from this. Maximum load on the video card score with 65 degrees. I mean, it, the game is not uh, utilizing uh, the GPU like the, the like previous games like World of Tanks and uh, Planet Side, you know. This is on maximum details and it does a fantastic job. Averaging around 150 FPS with 100 FPS on minimal. It's kind of good. 86 on 1%. So temperature, performance, everything is good in this case. I mean, it's getting hot even with this game. <laughs> okay, so if it's getting hot, that means I have to lower the, the quality for some reason. Come on. Burn them! <laughs> Let's try Battlefront and see how it starts with this. This is gonna be very interesting because... Mm, not okay. <laughs> what do you got? 1080p with low quality. Well, we managed to understand that it's not okay, this appears. Let's do a reset here. Maybe we can average here, like 34 FPS. We'll stay here and snipe a little so we can average. All right, 34 FPS, apparently it's uh, the average in this case. 946, 48 megabytes of VRAM allocated. Not a bad performance with 99% load on the core. We got 64 degrees in this case. And it's holding okay -ish theoretically. Look at that. I definitely need a lower resolution. Let's see if we can actually go 720p. 60 fps you're telling me i have a standing chance with 720p yes please look at that 80 fps i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna run with it three oh, i did. come on go go in front you can actually do it you can do it put your ass into it no 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 general kenobi well hello there <laughs> I don't understand. Sometimes it's 40 FPS, sometimes it's 80 FPS. Look at this. Now it's averaging with 64 FPS with 922, 922 megabytes uh, allocation. Oh no. The plonker is here. General Kenobi. Oh no! If we're jumping in Dota with this uh, video card on uh, lowest quality on 1080p, I'm gonna get only 50-60% load on this. Uh, like 80% load in some cases. This is very interesting because usually when you're fighting, you're gonna have a lot of load. And uh, if you put a little more details, you're gonna, um, how shall I say, stress the video card in such a way that the lows and minimals is gonna be way below playable FPS. So on low quality with this, it's kind of interesting. So you can go 720p, maybe medium quality, go halfway through the details. But in this case, I want to see on 1080p, look at that, 200 FPS. I want that in, in a game like this, where uh, it matters every FPS. I'm going to see that uh, it's very important to have the right ones. All right, let's put it to maximum. I want to see with maximum quality how it looks. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's possible to actually do the job see with some effects maybe it's gonna be totally different i put it on maximum and uh, after that you will decide what uh, type of uh, performance you want you got uh, high medium and low after that 800 megabytes allocation 500 process this is okay with maximum load on the core and i want to see the temperature in this case 13.7 gig of uh, system ram and virtual memory that's very interesting so it doesn't have anything to write on that 12 uh, 15 percent load on the cpu good temperature and on the gpu side you can actually see the temperature is climbing not ideal seriously i like the video card i think this is the most gorgeous fermi video card that i have i mean uh, when it comes to other video cards i still think this can can top a lot of video cards there's a couple of them that are looking fantastic you know but uh, this idea of shininess <laughs> It's supreme, seriously. I, I, I remember making a backplate for a 590 and I tried to polish it at the beginning. It was the beginning and I managed to put it. But I found the video card is, is bad and I think I'm, I want to repair it and show you how it's performing. But the idea of that shininess in a video card, it was it was kind of cool, you know. And when I found this video card, I was like, I'm not joking, seriously, it felt illegal to get it super cheap. But bro, what video card did I just bought? Nevertheless, you know, nevertheless, I got the video card. I like uh, the performance that is offering me here with uh, uh, this uh, one gig of VRAM. 
2011 video card and you still plays lots of games online. I want to uh, revisit a couple of uh, older games that I've played before with this, but now they got updates and maybe they are performing differently. So yeah, all in all, I can say that uh, it's doing wonders for the age, you know, for the age, it's kind of good. You know, to 14 years, it's it's magnificent from a video card like this. Temperature, everything is good with it. This is one of those that is good to have it for the collection. Now, if you're interested on in getting a 560 Ti, there's a couple of them that are very cheap and it's worth it to build an old machine if you're interested. Nowadays, uh, everybody's going for Windows 7 or an old operating system or and Linux, why not? And uh, getting them up and running because uh, the trend is getting on the left side, you know, with the retro games, old games and stop investing in uh, new stuff because it's kind of worthless. It, for me, this is my opinion. I like the performance this video card is offering and uh, can't wait to put more games. I need to find some older games that are offline and uh, maybe an older operating system. Who knows? You know why? Because the video card apparently is doing the job. So it will be very interesting. If you have any suggestion for this legend, you know, for this collectible video card, leave a comment with your suggestion. Don't forget to smash that like button if you managed to end up until now. And as usual, I will see you very soon.